All right, guys, let's go. This is the end. We are back again with yet another episode of WWE 2K17, The Career of Seth Cross. And here we are. We've made it through all the thick and thin, through all the words, through all the fights. So with Finn Balor, he won, I won. Actually, I don't think he won. I think the only two times I lost, it wasn't him. So I think I've just been whooping his ass nonstop. But Finn Balor, Seth Cross, we don't like each other. They, they don't like each other at all. Finn Balor thinks Seth Cross is just some upstart rookie. Who the hell is this guy? He doesn't matter. He's not important. He hasn't done what I've done. He hasn't traveled the Indies, gone to Japan. Seth Cross is like, hey, I'm the next big thing here. I'm the big show. I'll put the spotlight on me. Put the company on my back and I'll run with it. Put a title around this waist and it'll look good. But now we're going to find out who the better man is tonight, right now, at Money in the Bank. Let's go. Pretty standard money in the bank team music. Not bad, not bad at all. I like it. Look at those fireworks. Look at them go. Oh my goodness. And the lights. Everybody's on their feet. Everybody's cheering. Everybody's excited to see who's going to be the next Mr. Money in the Bank. Who's going to be the champion at the time? Or the Intercontinental Champion? Or the United States Champion? Or the Tag Team Champion? Or the Women's Champion? We don't know. You got to watch. You got to experience it. You gotta be there and I just want you guys to know we're actually in like the middle of the card so we're not like the kickoff or the opener we're like the fourth or fifth match so that's that's pretty cool too to not be you know hey like opening night you know let's get everybody ready for the real show <laughs> or like the kickoff show which you know I like the kickoff shows that they do but let's be real those, those matches are just kind of filler oh and there he is in his demon gear that's not uh Oh, I meant to do something funny for this one. God. I was going to do a t-shirt where it was going to say, I don't fear the demon. And that was going to be my, uh, my new shirt. Gosh damn it. Oh. Look, look, Seth Cross has no respect. Oh God, but he's going to learn some respect now. Finn Balor kicking his ass with that quick stick, taking him down. Oh, but Seth's too quick. That's too quick, he said, not today, Finn. Not today. Oh, maybe, maybe today. Oh, God, and he face playing Seth Cross. What's this? Oh, he's stomping on the knee, trying to take out his legs. Oh, and now his arms. He's going to attack every inch of Seth Cross until Seth Cross is in pain from every single body part. And now Seth Cross is, wow, as quick as he uh, got going. Oh, God. Finn telling him to get up. Finn still waiting. Okay, I don't know what Finn was playing, but it uh, didn't seem to know what he was playing. And now Seth's capitalizing on, I guess, some confusion. Oh. Oh, 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 he's got him up. He's stalling. Oh, but Seth dropped back. He reversed it into a back body drop. Let's go. Climbing up to that second rope. Yes. Oh, and that Phoenix splash. What a beautiful maneuver. Not many people can fly off the turnbuckles quite like Seth Boston. It's just, it, it's a beautiful sight to behold when this man is in the air doing whatever craziness it is that he's doing. And there he goes, Seth Cross, still not, uh, still not showing too much respect. Oh, crap, that was not bad. Oh, but now it is, back elbow. Oh, yeah. Get up, Finn. Get up, Demon King. I got something for you. I got something for... Oh, he's got something for me. He's got something for me. Oh, and elbow straight to the heart. Oh, jeez. Finn, Finn is definitely turning this around right now. Isn't... Oh, God. Getting that little bit of offense that he needed to get started. That's just picking me up to just knock me over again. Oh, and a stomp straight to the chest. Oh, but Seth... Oh, what a veteran move. Oh, trying to pick the ankle. Didn't work out too well. Oh, now they're on the outside, though, but that's that's Seth's territory right there. And the neck breaker on the outside. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. This is not looking good. 
This is not looking good. Oh no! He's being reversed it! Being reversed the DDT on the outside that steps up. Loves to soften his opponents up with. Oh. What was Finn going for there? We'll never know because he got reversed. Kabam! Oh, is that a six? Yeah, we're not we're not gonna go out like that. We don't wanna beat Finn Balor on a count out, on a technicality. We wanna beat Finn Balor in the ring like a man and maybe while hitting him against the LED things on the screen or on the apron oh elbow now whip into the corner of the barricade Seth Cross hunting him pounding him down into the corner of the barricade oh jeez Seth Cross likes to do that damage to people's heads likes to knock them unconscious get them uh, get them all kinds of uh, confused and disorientated Setting him up for that big reverse DDT that he does. That big light out. Oh, gosh. Oh, and Finn Balor's head just smashing off that turnbuckle post. Taking him up. What's he going to do now? Oh. Oh, and into the turnbuckle again. Yeah, there's no way Finn's not going to be knocked unconscious at some point if Seth doesn't stop doing this. Oh, but now they're making it back into the ring. Exactly where they should be. That's where they should be, right here. Oh, and Finn Balor getting a reversal. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God, wow. Oh, I'm not even ready. Oh, it's too fast. Oh, what's he got? What's he got? Oh, God. Can I roll out? I can't. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh my god, if I had freaking... Oh god, now he's got a finisher, I've got a signature. Oh god. Can I get it this time? No, I can't! He reversed it again! Now he's got a signature and a finisher. I have got crap and I can't reverse him. Oh my goodness, Finn Balor definitely brought his A-game. Death Cross might have been dealing a damage before this, but you know what? Oh! If you taunt, the debuff goes away. Oh, oh, oh. oh Finn doesn't have a uh, reversal. Yeah, I might have to play a little cheap. Try to stomp out that reversal. Because uh, not having too easy of a time when he's got reversals. Is he going to reverse me? Is he going to? No, he's not. He's going to take the back body drop. Oh, and a standing moonsault. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, shooting salt though. Standing shooting salt though. And now he doesn't have any reversals. Now's our time to shine. Now's our time to shine. Try to get some more momentum going. Oh, and straight into the pin. That snap two plus friends to the pin. Can this come away? No way. No way. What is this? What is this? Oh, God. Wrenching the neck. God, that'll freak your neck. Pinch a nerve. Jeez. Seth Cross is trying to hurt him now. He is trying to hurt him. Oh, bam! A spear! A spear! I thought for a second Finn Balor might have been getting ready to reverse that. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, Seth's been working on that head. He's been working on that head. Is this it? Is this it? Oh, lights out! Put him down! Here we see it again. Boom! Back of the head. Straight into the mat. No way to protect yourself. That's it. That's, that's it. I mean, Seth, uh, Finn Balor mounted in the fence, but there's no way. Dude, oh my god, he kicked out at 2.9. Which isn't even a thing because we're talking about minutes and seconds here. 2.59. And Finn Balor kicked out. What resiliency. And he didn't even use his resiliency. So keep in mind, there's two finishers. He can kick out for free. Oh, and another Phoenix Splash. Seth just trying to get some momentum going here. Finn Balor. He's looking like he's in a pretty dark place right now. Oh, no. Oh, and a reversal from Seth. And a Bulldog. Oh, alright. Seth just going to run into a little bit. But, nope, now he's doing what he was supposed to be doing. And he's going to go up for the... 
Big splash. Big time splashes. And destroying the midsection of Finn Balor. Oh, reversal. Oh god. Throwing him halfway across the ring. Oh, what is this? What is this? Finn Balor climbing to the top. Is he doing what we think he's doing? Oh no. Oh no. Oh, but he missed. He missed. And what is this? What is this? Seth. Is he looking up? Get him up for lights out. Oh my god. Oh my god. Avoiding the coup de gras and hitting the lights out instead. Get up. Get up, Seth. Pin him. Pin him while he's down. This is it. One. Two. Three. Oh no. Finn Balor using that resiliency. Using that other finisher that he had. And Seth Cross can't believe it. Seth just can't believe Finn Balor refuses to give up. He refuses. What was that? Two lights out? Oh god, reversal. And a kick to the face. A kick to the face. It's it's over. Finn doesn't have any reversals. He's beat up. There's no way. Seth just says there's no way. Oh, and that Phoenix splash again. Showing some disrespect, taking time out to address the fans. Oh, but Seth, or uh, Finn, trying to, trying to get some momentum going. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Trying to get, get him come back, but Seth dodged it. Seth dodged it. Oh, it's about to go out. It's about to go out. Oh, I heard him. Get up, Finn. Get up, Finn. Oh, and a big kick right in the face. Backing up to that corner. Don't turn around, Finn. Don't do it. You, Finn, don't turn around. Don't turn around. Oh, he speared him in half. Speared him in half. And now he's setting up a five-star match. Here at Money in the Bank, the back and forth between these two who know each other so well. But this is it. It lights out. One more time, Seth tells him. Lights out. Stay down, Finn. Here we see it one more time. One more time. And this has got to be it. i got to believe that Finn Balor. One, two, three. That is right. That's what I'm saying. Seth Cross picking up an amazing victory over an amazing, very worthy, very com competent opponent. Finn Balor knew what he was doing, knew what Seth was trying to do, reverse him at all stops. I honestly believe that last coup de gras attempt, that is what probably did it in. The fact that Finn Balor missed the coup de gras, followed up by having to use the other finisher on the resiliency, I think that's what did it. Two finishers was a, a daunting task to overcome. And there, you never know. You never know. He could have hit a coup de gras, and even if I did kick out, he had resiliency still, and he could have been in control. But we could break out, but we're not going to do that. We're going to show some respect. Finn Balor put up an amazing fight, had me on the edge of my seat. I was getting so low. I was If he had hit pretty much any big move, that would have been it. Rivalry points going up to 80. We got 37 points in this match alone. Greatest of all time. Instant classic. Look at that VC. 18,000 DC, 12,500 populated. That's how many fans we got from this. We became a little bit more aggressive. Uh, I don't think we got anywhere on face or heel. So I think we're pretty much capped out. We raised our average up to a 4.4 scale because that's what we do. We put on amazing matches all the time, every time, even here at Money in the Bank. Let's go. Just so you guys know, John Cena actually won the United States Championship last night. Brock Lesnar, sometimes the rivalry won't end at a pay-per-view. These rivalries can continue over multiple months and across multiple pay-per-views. So everybody was so excited about the match between Finn Balor and Seth Cross, they want to see it again. And again and again. So now, oh, I forget what pay-per-view is in July, but we are going to be going toward yet another match this month in Finn, against Finn Balor. Uh, yeah, pretty steady. We're going down a little bit as far as this goes. I will be creating a new t-shirt and debuting it on the next episode. Ooh, authority, two comma, what is this? 
Get your opponent arm health to red during your match. Reward. Two combo authority bonus multiplier, 110%. So as you can see, the unfavorable has gone way down. I did another thing, apparently, without trying. Uh, what is that? There was that. Win your match with uh, green arm health. Didn't mean to do it, but it happened. But as I was saying, um, yeah, John Cena is our new, new oh my god, does that say Baron fucking Blade? What just happened? Number two is Baron Blade. So Baron Blade is a like somebody who comes up with you in the uh, in the storyline in 2000. Uh, I'm sorry, 2K15. So they brought him back. Holy crap! That's hilarious. That is hilarious. Ooh, Kevin Owens is the Intercontinental. What the hell? Why is he? Why is he under me? Oh, because Baron Blade popped up. That's why. All right. So he's the Intercontinental Champion, and of course, you know the the New Day always going to be the champions. Always going to be the champions. Brock Lesnar. I don't know if he retained the title, but he was against Cesaro last night for the WWE Championship. Who is this? Ooh, look at that. Sami Zayn and Hideo Hatami are the NXT Tag Team Champions, and Sami Zayn is NXT Champion again. All right. I, I ain't even mad. You go, Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn is one of my favorite wrestlers right now. I'm not, I'm not even upset about it. Hideo Tommy, I'm actually pretty happy about too. Unfortunately, he did just get hurt recently, so that kind of sucks. Oh, and there was even a button to join, so I can I can move ranks. But I bet you that probably puts me back down to five, or maybe even ten, which would really suck. I would really suck. So uh, I'm gonna go and work on a new T-shirt design, and we're gonna be going even farther into the rivalry between the Demon and Seth Cross. And you know what? Maybe Seth Cross isn't quite getting through to Finn Balor. So maybe we're going to have to make a quick change in these next few episodes. But for now, guys, I'm going to let you think about what that might be. You don't know. I don't know. Who knows? I, nobody knows. And Seth Cross doesn't know. Finn Balor don't know. That's for damn sure. But for now, what we do know is that this is going to be the end of this episode. If you did enjoy this episode and you're enjoying the series, again, hopefully the changes that we've made going, you know, two matches at most in an episode, try to keep them down lower. Uh, and then of course the pay-per-view went a little bit longer than I think a regular match would um, Do leave me that like comment subscription really does help me out uh, You can follow me on Twitter at DM underscore cross. I'll leave, put a link to my profile in the description below uh, WWE is at WWE and WWE 2k17 is at WWE underscore games I'll put a link to each one of those profiles in my description below until next time guys. That's all I got for y'all. Peace. Love y'all